Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to discuss Alteplace TPA. My previous lecture I gave um, a lecture on stroke. I identified ischemic versus hemorrhagic. It was very detailed and I had emphasized that I was going to be putting together a small little lecture on Alteplase TPA, safe administration, the exclusion criteria, the R and scope of practice, and um, the goal for um, starting TPA and uh, what it entails. So let's get started. My name is Christina, nurse practitioner. So Alteplase TPA is for your ischemic stroke. Um, the goal is door to needle is in less than or equal to 60 minutes. So I did a six step phase. It begins with when the patient arrives, the clock starts. Phase two would be within 10 minutes. By now you should have already done your assessment, um, completed the NIH scale, and the patient should have been seen by an ED doc. Step three would be the stroke team would have evaluated the patient within 15 minutes of arrival and have been seen by a neurologist. During this time, it would also be best if you are suspecting that it is ischemic, you wanna do a exclusion criteria if this patient is a candidate for TPA or if you, they are not a candidate. So things that would exclude them from this medication would be if they've had a seizure with the stroke, if they're on any type of anticoagulants, if they've had head trauma within the last three months, if they have had a history of intracranial hemorrhage, GI or GU bleed within the last month, a lumbar puncture within the last week, improved neurological symptoms, meaning they had a neurological deficit. However, in route to the hospital, they seem to be getting better or during their stay at the hospital, they, they are improving. That would um, exclude them. And then blood pressure parameters. If their systolic blood pressure is greater than 185, diastolic blood pressure is greater than 110, and that is with PRN medications like labetalol or any type of antihypertensive medications to help decrease it and it's just not budging and it's the blood pressure is being sustained, um, you would exclude them from this criteria. Or if their INR is greater than 1.7, or elevated PTT and or elevated platelet level. Step four would be within 25 minutes, you wanna make sure you have um, patient is in route for brain imaging, whether it includes MRI or CT scan. MRI is a preferred method. However, if they have a pacemaker or any type of aneurysm clips, that is a contraindication. So then you would consider doing a CT scan. So in route to MRI, um, they usually ask the nurse to be prepared and to have an MRI pump or a compatible pump with IV tubing just in case the medication was delivered for TPA and it was deemed appropriate to start. Step five would be within your 45 minute time mark by then, you know, you're already back with the patient in the ED and um, by then the imaging should have been read. And then step six is your 60 minutes. This is um, if they are indeed a candidate for TPA, the clot buster, it should have been started. And then goal is for recanalization of the endovascular um, therapy. So R and scope of care. You want to make sure you obtain verbal consent prior to TPA administration, if deemed appropriate, for the patient with ischemic stroke. So just like we had mentioned, just to highlight, if you are, if this patient is a candidate for TPA, you want to make sure you're prepared. You have the tubing in the pump or an MRI compatible pump um, to start to prevent any type of delay because um, time is of biggest essence. So before starting your TPA, you want to double check your medication. You want to make sure that you have the right um, bolus and the right dose and this medication is weight based so this is going to be prepared by your pharmacist so they will be making sure that you had indeed put in the correct weight for the for the patient so you want to double check the dose and make sure that it's going in the right route so the dose is 0 0.9 milligrams per kilos the first 10% of that dose is given as a bolus, and then the remainder 90% is given over one hour. And always double check and triple check and document appropriately. Again, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for upcoming videos, and thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.